Okay, so here we are on the edge of the field, that field over there, which is going to be the forest garden at Quadrangle and the camping site. So this is the boundary really, these big trees. They're quite tall, very tall. Go on to the field. It's really hard to sort of get. I can't picture how big a tree is like, until we've got, until we've made scale canopy circles on a bit of paper. It's going to be hard to know what will fit. Oh, I haven't charged this up. gate over there, that's the main entrance for vehicles. Big trees along the edge of the field. You can just see the building behind those trees. There's the pedestrian entrance. Some veg just behind that hedge. Veg patch and beehives. There's a river running along this bottom edge of the field. Apparently it's quite a alkaline soil, pH of about 8. Quite chalky and silty, so it should be well draining. Just the other side of that fence is a path, and then on the other side is an orchard owned by someone else, a small, small apple orchard. Is the boundary the fence? Yeah. But you planted these trees, these yes. trees are ours. These are ours. Okay. And this is, these are the colour I did them for these people. Just take a picture. <laughs> Everyone. Take a picture of me, take a picture of you. I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> What are the Pollardy Johns? Well, this, this is, it was actually a laid hedge. Um, you can see it's actually growing out. It needs needs cutting back, but it was actually laid properly. You can see that. And then ev about every, I don't know, 10 metres oh, or see, something, yeah. there are these field maples. And they were Pollardy. Uh, I think it might have been two years ago. So you can see what they've grew, what, how much they've grown. Field maples. Mm. What's uh, which way is north and south and <coughs> this uh, west is there, <laughs> south is about there. Down okay. Into the rainwater harvesting. Yes, because our, our roofs are southwest, south southwest. Okay, so south is coming out of this corner ish. Yeah. Yeah.
But it's, really, it's quite nicely sheltered, isn't it, already? In terms of having trees all the way around it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the wind, the wind comes whistling up the valley. It's like a funnel. Okay, so that's... So we might want taller or thicker hedge as a windbreak. Ah, of course, he's got tri <laughs> electricity wire. Do you do that? Well, they came. It's a big field. It is. What he what he says in the little pockets for that fit like you know between kind of five and eight tents. Because yeah, if you could have nice little circles with a fire in yeah. the middle. Yeah, exactly. And where's the access to the river? Fences were in the river to stop the horses. Right, this yeah. corner, yeah. Too far, over to the other side. <laughs> Another. So this isn't so. This isn't really the kind of romantic swimming spot, but it's it, it kind of access for kind of water and stuff. Although obviously, our kind of how much water we can use from the river is quite interesting. Yeah, I mean, I was first of all thinking. Let's just put a ram pump in the river. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> Alistair said you're not allowed to do things no, like that. Very, yeah. <laughs> but at least in the, you know, ship. Look, if this the, is all getting really, getting the, to the right stage where we can do some serious clearing these brambles and rose bushes. And, um, although actually, it does provide a certain amount of kind of privacy. But then it's actually really beautiful being able to look down into the river. Yeah, and the light reflecting off it. Yeah. So, right, I see. So imagine this, there's a lot of digging these did to clear all the brambles, but this being a grass slope, so I was going to dig it all up this winter. So slope grass. it down. And so you could have like, imagine this being a big picnic area, kind of almost bigger than this, and you can sit on those branches with your feet dangling on the river, and there'll be little steps going down. Um, it's not so deep here as it is up there, but that's probably quite good. For kids and whiskers. For getting into, yeah, yeah adults can walk down a bit. Yeah. Where's, the deep, where's the nicest swimming bit? Oh, That's, just off. Yeah, and the, Just off there. Yeah. But we could possibly clear another entrance way. It might be quite a good idea to have a few spots, because as the field will get kind of broken up and have a lot of different paths. But, um, but you can imagine this could be lovely, like kind of camping under this tree, a little fire under here and having. Steps going down to the river, and it almost being it'll become the whole field will become something more private, won't it? With the trees, and we have it. 